Hi, it's Merv Barrett here from Real Estate Connected, the creator of Easy Property Listings plugin for WordPress. In this video, I want to show you how to use the staff directory extension to maintain a pile of real estate agents on your website. Uh, so here's my test website that I've got set up with the staff directory and we're just, we've already installed it uh, so we're going to just go and activate the extension once you've installed it. Uh, so visit the dashboard, jump over to plugins and look for the staff extension and it's called staff directory and it's currently activated so I'm just going to deactivate that and what will happen is you'll have a new menu pop up called staff once you've activated the extension. So there we go. So now we have a new menu on your in your dashboard called staff. And this is where you maintain and add staff members. Uh, and we've already got three here. So I'll just quickly show you how to add a new one. And I'm going to put uh, my, my little mascot that I created many years ago. Spike agent, we'll call him. And this is my profile information. Now what's good about this, the content editor is it works just like WordPress. So any images or links or photos or text and it will uh, will display on the sta single staff members page. Okay, uh, so you can again just use it as you would in the normal content editor. So if you wanted to put a, a photo of your family or, or uh, anything like that you can easily pop it in there and that will appear. Um, so what we want to do is first set a featured image so with the staff directory extension it allows you to use a custom image for each staff member instead of having to rely just on the Gravatar image. Uh, so just choose set featured image as you would on a normal post and we're going to add a new image in here for Spike and press set featured image. Uh, so that's his image and we're just going to publish this listing and we're going to view the staff member. Uh, now what the way the plugin works is it tries to link with a user profile in WordPress. So even though we've created a staff member, it's showing mine there because I'm the author of this particular staff member. So we need to set the author for each staff member. And in this case, I haven't actually created an author. We've got John Agent, Alisi, and myself. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly jump over to users and we're going to create a new user and then we're going to link the two together just with a quick link. Um, so we'll call it Spike and have a good time typing here. set him in as an author. Uh, I recommend using author as your real estate agents in your website. Um, so now we've created a new user called Spike and we can actually go and add his additional information like mobile phone number as the normal easy property listing works. Uh, at this moment I'll just put in a phone number and again you can add his Facebook profile and it will link there if he has one. He doesn't have one but I'll just pretend. And again um, is simple bio that will appear in the author box. Houses and again you can adjust the easy property listings author box profile information. Uh, so he's a sales associate. And his slogan. And again if you had a YouTube video URL you put it in there to populate the tab. But we'll just leave that blank for now. Uh, so we've created and now we have a user uh, for Spike and we also have a staff member. So the last step is to just assign Spike as the staff member. And we've got a handy column here so you can actually make sure that you've linked the two together. So, you know, Elise is Elise, John's John, Merv is Merv, and Spike is Merv. So that's why the it displayed as me. So we're just going to edit Spike again and set the author to Spike and press update and we'll view the staff member 
and there he is. So that's his image. We've got his little bio we popped in there. And the staff directory profile populates information underneath the content box if there is any information that is linked to Spike. And Spike hasn't got any listings. Uh, but I just wanted to quickly show you how to add that. So if we look at myself uh, in the staff directory as a staff member, so I'll just jump back over to myself and press view, we'll see that there's a different content here. I've got linked the blog posts in there. We've actually got the testimonial manager active, which automatically links the last testimonial in there and his listings. Now, this theme's still under development, so we're still tweaking some settings here with the with the image lineup. Um, but that's pretty much how that works. Now with the staff directory, you can, you know, at the moment the setting is set for the tabbed box at the top, uh, but you can quickly just jump into the dashboard and adjust the way you want that to appear. Um, so there's some handy settings. So if you go to Easy Property Listings and Extensions, we put all the settings for the extensions in here. So any extensions you have active, will a new tab will appear with its settings. Uh, so here we've got the staff box style. So we have two styles available at the moment, tabbed and bio. So bio is uh, a simple author box that removes the tabs from the top and just makes a nice little neat box. Uh, and again, you can adjust the CSS to to change the look of it if you want. Um, again, we can, on the single author, so when we're looking at a single staff member, that's what this single tab is referring to. So if you jump to single, you can ch either choose the author box, and then you have a couple options there, or you can choose big image, which will just use the featured image. And again, you can adjust the style sheets to, to suit your theme. Uh, so I'll refresh that, and now we have just a big image. And you can, uh, if you had this smaller, you can adjust your content to appear and have uh, lots of different options for your staff directory. Um, now, the last part about this is one when you create a, a post type in WordPress. In this particular case, it's called directory. So you've now got a we've got a page uh, that automatically outputs the staff members on a page. And in this theme, this is how it looks. Again, we've got some issues because my name's a bit longer than on other ones. Uh, but that's what automatically gets created is a directory post type. So the easiest way to uh, add that directory to your menu is to create a page called directory. I've already done that in this instance, but what you would do once you install the plugin is go to pages, press add new, and call it directory. Now I can't, uh, what will happen is this will have a, a there's two pages called directory. So in this case, I'll get a directory three. Uh, but if you want to adjust the, the name of the menu, for example, like staff directory, you would just use your menu option in WordPress and change the menu. Uh, so in this particular case, even though it's directories, the slug, uh, the post slug, I've called it staff directory. So I can even know get our staff directory. And save the menu. And visit the site. And you'll see that it says our staff directory. But it's still using the post slug directory. And then each author is a sub member of the directory slug. So you have several options there to adjust. Uh, also with the staff member, it has a, a, an advanced widget that is very handy for the property pages and integrating different things. So on this theme, um, we can quickly just go and manage widgets and add a widget to the author for the author here. So we've got a new widget staff directory. And this will display the image if you, if you choose the settings. And you can adjust the image sizes. put a contact um, and we'll now when you view a property you'll see the um, staff member widgets up there plus we've also got the author box which is currently set to bio so the settings that you choose will adjust whether you want the tabbed option or the bio and that's pretty much a quick overview of the staff member uh, system and the last thing I wanted to quickly show you is if you have a lot of staff members you can adjust the order just as you would you can quick edit each one and put in you know she's the last she's number five uh, and update quick edit this one and number two update and quick edit one and quick edit seven and that will actually adjust the order of the staff. You need to refresh the page to see the new order. But when you now visit the directory page, the order will be the same. Um, 
and there we go. Again, I've, I have just need some additional tweaks on this theme before we release it, um, but it's almost there. So that's it for the staff directory. What you can do is visit easypropertylistings.com.au, jump over to our store, and scroll down till you see the staff directory extension, and take a read of what's there and this video will be on that page as well um, and you can see here's a staff directory with lots of different staff members makes it really easy to maintain a site with with hundreds of staff members um, and we're, we're continually enhancing it and there's with your style sheets you can adjust the coloring and everything else and it should match your theme anyway once you activate it uh, and you've got different options and here's the bio box and the the different and the tabs what we've done is other extensions as we create them can add additional tabs and information um, like recent listings is one of the tabs that gets added so any of the listings that a staff member has can 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 um, appear thanks for watching this video uh, look forward to talking to you bye